no company or organization or a government is protected from insider trade breaches. Just last week, in the news, Tesla, Tesla, all of us know it, uh, two employees have managed to leak 75,000 employee records was leaked by insider. This is what uh, Tesla claim, I think, in Germany. If we just go back 10 years ago, whereas Edward Snowden has managed to leak high classified information from the National Security Agency, or we call it NSA, this is in 2013, where he was an employee or I think a contractor or subcontractor for that organization. Then you ask yourself, what's insider trades? What's an insider trades? There is many, many definitions of insider trades, but however, the definition I'm going to use right now is published in IEEE paper and in computer and security journals by uh, me. Uh, insider threats can be defined as malicious, but between quotation, malicious or unmalicious activities. That means insider threat could be a malicious activity or non-malicious activities. On a part of employee, this can be current employee or formal employee. Can be a contractor, can be a subcontractor or trusted business part partner. Anyone who has or had or has had an authorized access to IT system or IT assets who uh, cause a significant damage to information security element of the organizations. These elements are confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the information. This is the easiest way, to be honest, to define an uh, insider threat. Insider threat is not just one word insider threat or one issue. It's a very complicated issue. Okay. We can divide insider threat in a number of subcategories based on the manner in which they are affect the organization and formation security goals and human factors and so on. In my paper, I divided um, insider threat in seven categories. IT sabotage, insider fraud, insider theft of intellectual property, inside the social engineering, inside their uh, incidents, where it's uh, an intentional insider trade, insider also in the cloud computer and insider uh, national uh, security. These are the main seven categories of insider trade. Before we discuss the approaches for insider trade, you need to ask yourself, why the insider misuse his privilege? Why the insider misuse his privilege? The insider to misuse his privilege must have three things. The motivation to do so, the opportunity, and the capability uh, to do uh, his misuse. That means motivation, opportunity, and capability. The motivation could be uh, financial gain or any other motivation. If you know any other motivation, write in the comment. Opportunity, maybe the, uh, uh, the insider have the access or the admin access to database, a chart database or any other opportunity or intellectual property, this is the opportunity. And when it's capability, that means the insider trade have the capability to do so, okay? Uh, capability maybe just he have access to that uh, a database and then he have uh, the capability to copy that database to external hard drive or a cloud computer okay that mean insider uh, require three factors these three factors are motivation and you're going to write down what kind of motivation insider it have opportunity and capability 
then what kind of approaches that are there to prevent insider trade? To be honest, there is no single approach uh, to uh, to um, to prevent your organization from insider trade. If any companies come to you and say, hey, we have uh, insider trade solution, don't trust them because no solution there to prevent insider trade by its own, okay? You need to have a multiple solutions. Um, in my research, we look to insider trade in different uh, perspective from a human perspective, organization perspective, and technology perspective, but I'm not going through all of them uh, with you right now. The approaches, we can divide the approaches for inside uh, trade into different categories. Technical controls to identify insider trades. This could be uh, intrusion detection system, intrusion prevention system, data loss prevention, uh, SIM, uh, security information event management, uh, many, 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 many other technical tools that you can use to prevent uh, insider trade. Okay, there's many technical tools in the market, but remember, as I said, you cannot use a single tool. You need a multiple tools in place. You can go to my uh, research paper. You will find many, many tools that I listed there. But there is also something interesting, non-technical approaches, okay? These are the most important approaches that you need to take into your organization. Non-technical approaches can be like uh, training, security uh, training awareness to the employee, uh, prediction models that predict who could be insider, um, um, some uh, controls to employee who, who will leave the organization, let's say after 30 days or after three months, you need to have some kind of uh, uh, controls there and so on. That mean there is technical controls and there is non-technical controls to uh, prevent insider threat. But again, there is nothing called 100% um, in cybersecurity uh, to prevent any kind of insider threat. You need to have technical co controls in place and non-technical uh, controls in place. Make sure you have a cybersecurity, uh, you, you have uh, information security policy, uh, training for your staff, and so on. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next uh, videos. Thank you very much.